Welcome to the Boating Adventure. In this video I shall be visiting the SBS Boat Life Show at the National Exhibition Centre, Birmingham. I have my press pass and I shall be visiting from the opening day on Thursday the 16th of February 2023 from 10am. I hope to get the video out as soon as possible after my visit so that anybody who might be tempted to go would still have time to book because it runs until the Sunday the 19th of February 2023. And if you follow this video closely, you will see a promotional code which you can use to get a reduction on your tickets. I will go through the booking process during the video. Here we have the map of the exhibition. The entrance is on the bottom there, just in the middle towards the right hand side. And you go straight into the blue area which is where all the leisure boats are and right in the top right hand corner is the main stage where there'll be uh, people talking about various different things during the uh, time that is open and then you go on to the red area which is more of the chandlery type of thing and services and then in the top left hand corner that's all to do with engines and also fishing. Then the yellow area is to do with um, paddle boarding, uh, kayaking, that kind of thing. And then the green area is where you'll find all the things that are related to the inland waterways. So there's quite a lot to cover and it's uh, occupying halls 17, 18 and 19. So it has expanded quite a bit from the previous year. So I've arrived at the NEC and at the Boat Life exhibition and I'm about to uh, go in. So I've just arrived and come through the entrance and I'm going to go to the right which is the blue area which is where all the leisure boats are. So I'll have a quick look up and down the, the rows here. There are an awful lot more narrow boats here this year and there's this one right at the end of the first hall. This is hall 17. So I'm starting off, I came through the entrance and turned right and I've gone right to the end of the first hall here. So I intend to try and cover the leisure boat section first. This is a TL Harvey Limited. This is a company that I covered last year.
this is uh, very much the leisure boat section, speed boats. Nothing that would fit down an English narrow canal. There do seem to be a lot more boats here this year, a lot of these pleasure boats. I chatted to this gentleman for some time as he follows the channel and is now the owner of a channel pin badge. Now I'm in the top left hand corner, the other blue zone, which is more to do with uh, engines, um, bits of uh, fishing equipment, fishing boats. And there's one particular boat that I'm on the lookout for. So this is the boat that I really wanted to come and see today and this is a Hurricane and it's built by SF Marine but it's based on a Relcraft mould. Their Hurricane 21 was designed by John R. Moxham and is based on an original Relcraft mould. 
John began designing small cruisers in the 1970s and the Railcraft range. Well, they can't get some still. You, you won't do a to pop off. No, you're fine. Right. fine. This is the boat I wanted to see. Is it? <laughs> but it was uh, designed by uh, John, John Moxon. Yeah. yeah. So I've got a Rollcraft too. So. Oh, I see. No, I think I'll see your um, videos so going yeah. up in the RBG group. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Rollcraft. By all means. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Rollcraft RPL 21. Yeah. Brilliant. Good to see that they're using that, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> bringing it back. Yeah. <laughs> Now that is an engine, a 200 horsepower, but I think that might weigh put the swamp duck down a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I'm being spoilt for choice because next door to the Hurricane is my next favourite, which is the uh, Orkney boats. We hired one of these when we did the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal. Excellent little boats. Uh, so this is more or less the extent of the Blue Zone with the leisure boats. It's quite helpfully laid out because the carpet covering is blue. So this is the Blue Zone. Good afternoon and welcome to SBS Live, Boat Life Live, and I'm here with Richard Dove, MD of Boat Life, uh, on the live stage here, sponsored by Salt. Um, how's it going? One year on, eh? Hi, Mark. Thank you. Um, yeah, one, one year on already. Um, absolutely fantastic. Really, really happy with, uh, with the show this year. Um, last year being a launch had its challenges. This year, because the show's now grown, yeah. uh, we've got a lot more products, um, lots of different sectors. Uh, the logistics of it have been a bit of a struggle, but 
Yeah. Now, talking about struggles, we'll take you back a year ago. Uh, I believe there was uh, the biggest storm we've seen in the last 10, 10 years just rumbled in. I know that because my roof blew off. Um, and we had uh, all sorts of people being told not to turn up. Um, the industry wasn't sure about the whole show. And it was a massive success. Yeah, absolutely. We were, we were blown away, actually. By Look at that smile. Year. Look at the smile. There we yeah, go. Blown away. Um, so, yeah, and I think, you know, there was a huge support from the industry, which was great. And, and the visitor numbers were higher than we expected. Um, and I think the exhibitors generally had a really good show. So, um, I think everyone has rebooked um, yeah. and either gone larger on stand size. Um, and that's also then created a lot more interest across the board from, from all of the sectors. So whether it's water sports, um, power boats, yachts, uh, inland waterways. Just talk about that for a second, because we are really now crossing the whole boat life you know, gamut from messing about in boats. Uh, we've got barges up the right, right corner. We've, got, uh, we've even got a pool here, um, lots of ribs, lots of sailing boats. It's pretty much every single option. Um, have we got a pedalo here? We need a pedalo next year. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, we don't, but I can put that on the list for next yeah. year and get yeah. one of those on the pool. Yeah, so we've we've included more features this yeah. year. We're trying to kind of make the event a bit more interactive, um, certainly for the visitors. Uh, we're kind of um, engaging with the exhibitors to try and help them to have more things on their stand that visitors can actually get involved with. Um, but yeah, we have obviously the pool, which is great. So uh, we've got stand-up paddleboards, kayaks, canoes, um, and demos for exhibitors that will be taking place on there. Um, we have uh, outside trailer test drive area so people can go out there, book in and uh, drive around different boats um, on trailers for your SBS trailers. And that's in partnership with uh, Isuzu, who are also running a 4x4 woodland course out there. Um, yeah, that, that's good. And obviously the Inland Pub is back. That was a popular place for everyone to hang out. Um, yeah, it's uh, definitely elevated the show, I think, from last year. Um, and I'm very, very happy with, with the way it's been going.
now moved on to the yellow section where you've got the uh, kayaks and canoes and that kind of thing. So there's some uh, little rubber dinghies here for fishing. We'll have a closer look at those. Okay, so they're going to do an, un, an official unveiling of a couple of brand new boats. So any minute now, they're going to pull the covers off.
we're now into the green area and this is where we have all the inland waterways there for the, there's a nice big wide beam here so we'll just have a quick wander around the green section there's always a queue to get on the uh, narrow boats and the wide beams I must say the uh, show is an awful lot busier than it was on the first day of last year so it is difficult to get on some of the, the boats and we do have some cruisers that are represented here's the uh, Viking stand there's a couple of their boats that video there's certainly plenty to look at at these boat life events and I nearly forgot if you want to go yourselves then go on to boatlifeevents.com and book a ticket tickets cost £15 plus a £1 booking fee and uh, under 16s go for free if you have a promotional code then you can get a little bit uh, knocked off that uh, price uh, top tip, remember to book yourself a car park ticket in advance. And the promotional code that you've been looking for throughout this video is...